Hi, this is Akaboo69. And today I'm going to show you the poor man's guitar rig. Because if you can't afford an actual head, but you have an awesome preamp like this thing I'm a bob right here, the Digitech GNX1, this is my power amp. I use it live. It's kind of laughable that I'd be using a stereo power amp, but ghetto rig's the way to go when you're poor and have no money. For all you tube lovers out there, you got to deal with this. I'm broke. The economy is bad. So quit being so arrogant and humble yourselves. But anyways, I'm using an Insignia stereo recorder amplifier something or other. And uh, it's powering the 412 cab. It's 200 watts, 100 watts per channel. There's my preamp. And now I'm going to demo out some of these hyper models I've made on the... Uh, GNX1 because you can warp your amp tones. This uh, one I'm playing right now is supposed to be based on a Randall HT HT100. So here we go. This next amp model is based on a Valve King. It comes pretty close because I used to own one, then I got in debt and had to sell it. Don't ask me why I had to sell it. This is based on a Valve King. The thing about this power amp is it's hi fi, so it it does not color your tone at all. It's a really smooth, smooth sound. Like it's completely just, it's crystal clear. So whatever preamp you put through it, you know, that's your tone. All this does is make you loud. It has no clipping at all. All right, now this is based on the 5150. <laughs> This one's based on an angle. I don't know how close I got, but uh, this is supposed to be my attempt at a Powerball. Alright, this preset is called JCM-ish. It's got my DSL 100 model that I crafted on here and a JCM 800. They're quite similar sounding to tell the truth. They're not very different from one from each other. But this is the uh, uh, let's see what the timer says. This is the JCM 2000 setting. <laughs> JCM 800. the sounds pretty closely and I think they're pretty close but that's for you to decide. This one's called Cranked. <laughs> Now 
this next one is the based on the rep series because this preset itself is called cranking you get two amp models per preset because that's what it's called to sign this is based on the rep series or my attempt at a <laughs> never set this thing on top of the speaker cab live. It'll fall off, I know from experience. Put it beside the cab. The vibrations, this thing's not really meant to <laughs> handle vibrations. Now this next one is uh, an original amp model I crafted myself. It's not based on anything, it's just kind of a really cool, crunchy kind of... Uh, Really, it's a clean amp model with a little bit of grit as you crank the gain. Akaboo's Crunch Amp, I guess. It's not a metal tone by any means. kind of tone, a fender kind of tone, or if you just think it sounds like crap because it's a pedal. But whatever you think it sounds like, but be kind on my page, no. Be kind, you don't have to agree with me or even like the video, but be kind and respectful or you'll be blocked. I don't like saying that to people, but I, you know, YouTube gives us that choice to whether we want to, you know, talk to people or not. And I personally like that option. Somebody pisses me off, they're blocked. You know, and rightfully so. You know, you don't. I'm not gonna let people harass me. But the point is, I mean, uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about that sound. What, what would you call it? What kind of tone do you think it has? I'll play it for you one more time. I call it classic. Like I said, we could just call it Akavu's classic crunch. Well, my guitar was being. Play on this tone really, really hard. The gain increases. The harder you play, the more gain you get, which is cool because it's a lot like how a tube amp works. It's very dynamic to your playing, which is why I like Digitape because their stuff is very dynamic. Yeah. 